All right, here's the deck list, and yes, yes, I am playing one Dark Magician because I am the real Aten, by the way. I don't know if you guys know that I'm actually the reincarnation. Uh, you know? <laughs> but anyway, Dark Magician on one is actually not bad. Like, honestly, I'm not gonna say it's the way to play, but two is definitely the way to play. But one is the Chad way, man. It's the Chad way. And obviously, if you want to be a real Chad, you gotta play one, bro. Like, if you if you really wanna go in and impress people, you play one Dark Magician, bro. <laughs> Down chicken. Now it's like, it's like, obviously it's up to personal preference. I'm just copying an OCG player that he was using one Dark Magician, one uh, Dark Magician Go, and one Mahat. And honestly, it really does work. For whatever reason. Like, it really does work. And not but not, like, not at any time did I feel like I needed another Dark Magician there. I mean, sometimes it, that will come up that like, I need another Dark Magician in, there, in that situation. But most of the time, most of the time, I literally went on a, on a, on a five win streak. Yeah, with this build. I'm currently at gold three in the new season. I already got to plat five last season, but this is the new build. On my other account that I'm experimenting with, and I went a five and oh, bro. Like, and not any of those matches where I felt like I needed Dark Magician. Dark Magician at one point got banished, and I just played it out, bro. I still played it out, bro. Like, I, like I can still like go into Dark Magician. I can still go into like, Dragoon, the Fate Dragoon. I can still go into Quintet. I can still do this, I can still do that, like, I can still do all of this stuff, all this other extra deck stuff, bro. What? Two monsters? Wow. Like, they're not gonna win me games by themselves, you know? Like, Eternal Soul and Circle, Banish, doesn't really happen that much. And if it does, it's nice. But it really doesn't happen that much. So you're not really missing anything not having Dark Magician in your deck. Like if Dark Magician is banished, you can still do things, you can still win. Quinte is a board wipe. Dragoon can target a big monster and blow it up and do a damage to it equal to its attack. Zeus can board wipe as well. Access code, obviously no Asuka is a finisher. Like, this man is also a beast. If you get this man out, Apprentice, uh, Mahad, and a Souls, or whatever, like, or use one of these guys to get to it, like, he's gonna be you can't target it, you can't destroy it, you know, like, we don't need Dark Magician, quite frankly, you could take dark, the whole of the Dark Magician stuff out and just add more traps, <laughs> you probably still do just as good, you know, like real talk, because you can still, you can, souls can still activate, you just, you just, you know, you you just put Dark Magician Go in there, uh, or Mahad in there, you know, like, you know, like, honestly, like, the deck can function completely without Dark Magician. So, yeah, that's the real, like, honestly, I play mainly two Dark Magician. This was obviously, I wanted to feel this, and I wanted to see what it's like. I've played three Dark Magician, not on this game, I played three Dark Magician Duel Links. I've never played three Dark Magician in this. I actually, in Duel Links, I actually brought it down to two Dark Magician and then one uh, Illusion Magic. No, 
yeah, one illusion magician. Um, um, for those guys that you don't know what that is, this mag mag magician of dark illusion, dark illusion. I'm running this and two dark magician in door links, and I'm clapping. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, but yeah. If you're new, probably run two dark missions. De well, definitely run two dark missions. Don't run three. Uh, three is trash. Three is a brick. Uh, but we'll we'll get into that. We'll get into that. This is talk about what I'm running. Uh, Effect Vela, hand trap, souls mandatory. Need three. Maxi not mandatory, but have two <laughs> if you're gonna have it. Uh, Magician rod. 100% needed at three. Ash Blossom, you get one for free. You should have one, at least. Dark Magician Girl, need it. Apprentice, I mean, you don't need it, but because we're running this, you need it. You can just, you could just have my heart, really. Uh, but yeah, Dark Magician Girl and two apprentices. Um, I like apprentice. I like to get the boost in. I like to. That's it, basically, because yeah, you, she would add dark, my soul, my single dark mission to my hand if I want it in my hand. Uh, but yeah, she's basically there for the boost, basically. And I like, I like to the boost. Also, she's a special summon. You know, I'm running, I'm running one, two, three, four, five bricks. You know. Five bricks. I mean, these two is just fuel for this, but yeah, it's still five. This is you could technically say these are two dark magicians, really. But at least they're going to do something. They're going away with the uh, fusion destiny. If I have in my hand, but I'll get to that. Uh, Mahad, Mahad is great. Honestly, it's anime and it's actually viable in this version. Say, for instance, I have Apprentice, Dark Magician in the hand, and what was it? Uh, souls and Rod. Guess what I can do there? What do you think the play is there? I can Souls. I can Souls. No, what I can do, I can discard, right? I discard Dark Magician. Special summon the Dark Magician with Magician Souls by sending Magician, uh, using Magician Souls to send my heart, right? Then with Rod, you search Bonds, then get Dark Magician Girl on the field. Now you have all three either in the grave or on the field. If if you get a soul servant. Wait, one, two, three, four. I guess this could be a go a go second. Cause I, I did have this before, like I think I was going second and then I drew it into soul servant. But if you do get soul serving, that's a draw free, bro. Like that, that's crazy, bro. And like, that's why this card is kind of cracked. Cause if you do get him into the graveyard, you he's just you know, cause like this is not that easy. It's it's pretty easy to get these guy on the field, especially if you've got uh, souls and uh, and rod. So if you bonds and somehow get but Mahad in the graveyard too, and you got a soul serving, bro, that's crazy, bro. But anyway. Obviously, this is the package for Destiny, uh, Fusion Destiny. Um, here's a here's effect. You can negate the effects of face up monsters while your opponent controls controls them. Once per turn, you can target one monster and equip them, and it gains attack equal to the attack of the monster. Oh, it gains attack equal to half the original attack of the monster equipped. Cool. 
So it's not bad if you actually use it correctly. Upstock Goblin at 2. Hogs. Synergizes with Soul Servant. Synergizes with Circle. Um, for those guys, for those of you that don't know, you're like my GBO friends. Basically, if you activate Circle and say, I saw my heart. I saw my heart. Right? So I stack my heart at the top, you know. So he's the next thing that I draw. And then I upside goblin, draw my heart, special summon my heart. Pug. You know what I'm saying? That's Pug. And you basically do that with any card. Also, um, with the Soul Servant, you could do basically the same thing. This searches any card, any Dark Magician card, right? And then you place it at the top, and then you draw it with upside. Simple. Um, also, a little trick to bait hand traps is to upstart a goblin first and then soul servant that 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 can bait ash um that's a pretty good trap uh also circle chain soul servant to circle so you you activate circle uh search salvation then the circle will add the salvation because you just searched it and put it at the top. So the circle will see the three top cards and then you just add it. Sick. So sick. Uh, Secrets of Dark Magic. Oh wait. My bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I've skipped so hard. Bonds. Bonds is sick. It's actually sick. As you, as you saw, it sets up a board wipe for the next turn. If you can make this turn one, you you can literally, you know, you can make some plays. Especially, you know, you got a rod in the graveyard as you tribute it off with Ar Artemis, and you got a rod in the graveyard. Then you activate by an attack, uh, by an attack, and then you wipe board wipe, and then you you could add you could add. Um, Rod back by tributing either Artemis or the Dark Magician. Preferably the Dark Magician, because you get it back with Eternal Soul, because that's the next thing you will search with Rod. Right? Once you grab Rod back, you will search for this, which searches this. So, Hog. And then, Magic Glass Fusion. Magic Glass Fusion helps, can help make Dark Calvary, can help make this, can help make this. That's basically what it's there for. Obviously, Anaconda can also turn into this, but let's get, we'll get into that next. Fusion Destiny. Obviously, to make this, this is a pretty decent monster. Comes back every standby phase by banishing a Destiny hero. I feel like this is kind of, it's not as good as uh, Phoenix Enforcer. Phoenix Enforcer is non-targeting. Uh, he, he's non-targeting destruction, right? And he, you can pop, you pop a card, you pop himself. I'm pretty sure that's what you do. You pop a card, you pop, you pop yourself, or he dies by fusion destiny anyway. And then he just comes back in a standby phase. Basically what this monster does, but this is not, this is targeting and you can't attack after either which is sad but it's still it's still whatever it's still 3000 attack and defense right it's, like, it's a big monster that we could just summon kind of like how you would just summon Dragoon right basically <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's just not as good as none of those cards but it's still something that's the way I see it it's better than nothing uh, Quintet. Quintet is actually pretty nice. Board wipe. If you have five different spellcasters and it cannot be destroyed by card effects. Sick. And look at the attack. Look at the defense. It's massive. Assembled Nightingale is basically for the souls of a Fet Veiler. If you were willing to use a Fet Veiler for this play. 
but this actually helps if this actually helps make it a little bit more consistent because there's four cards now that I can po possibly have in my hand, you know, instead of three. So this doesn't really come up much anyway. X season with this deck doesn't come up even with. I mean, with you actually make it more of an X season deck, it probably come up more. But then again, it, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it really doesn't. Sometimes you can't get two Dark Magicians on the field at the same time. You know? Sometimes you can't get two Apprentices on the field at the same time. You know? It is what it is. Link Spider. Um, pretty much just to link off Dark Magician. Put it in the graveyard. You've got Eternal Soul. You bring it back. And you've got a circle. You banish. That's basically what it is there for. Put it in the graveyard. Link Spy is there to put it in the graveyard so you can do the loop. Uh, M Duck is also help you to do the loop. And also, you use this to fuse into your boss master. Um, yeah, Dark Magician the Dragon Knight protects all the back row. You know, pretty good synergy. I mean, it is, it just synergizes with Eternal Soul, you know, so good. But it's so bad at the same time. Because if you was, if you had a choice to make Dragon Knight and a Calvary, and you didn't have Eternal Soul, you make the Calvary. You don't make this. This is just a Blue Eyes at that point. Yeah. That's basically what you summon in a Blue Eyes if you don't have Eternal Soul. It's like, I don't want blue eyes. I want something that negates. Or I, I need something that does something on their turn if they target or they do something. At least something. This guy does nothing. He literally does nothing. He actually does nothing. So he's actually a bad boss monster. He has no real effects that that do anything apart from just protect the back row. So it's just like. You do you not you actually just the blue eyes until eternal souls in the field it's, it's pretty bad if you really think about it that way um artemis did i talk about this do i need to talk about it basically you just you make this if a spell uh a trap is activated you can draw a card and if it's a spell or a trap, you can set it. And if it's a trap or a quick play spell, you can activate it that turn. And if this card is destroyed, it floats into Dark Magician and Dark Magician go. So you have both of them on the field. So that's pretty good. It's a float. Um, Artemis. Artemis is... It's just needed. This is this is a Dark Magician card now, bro. Like, what? It's actually needed because of Rod to get Rod back. That's all it's there for. But you have to have a spell or trap that you can activate to bring to activate Rod's effect to trigger to bring back uh, and tribute the Artemis to bring it back to your hand so you can do some more searching. So good. Like other people that don't play this, and I'm just like, why? Why? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go into that, but Anaconda obviously needed, not needed actually. Actually, yeah, it's not really needed, really. Like, it's only really needed if you run Magic Eyes Fusion. Not, not every, not every deck is gonna be running a fusion deck. Not everybody's gonna be doing this. Like, you know what I mean? Like, not everybody's a child like me. Yeah, like, you know. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's basically what that's there for. It's just to get Fusion Destiny in the graveyard. Well, it's to basically get the. Um, it's basically turned into the Fusion card, and then you can just you know fuse this, 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 or this, basically with sending these two cards. This card is, I would say. This card is literally probably probably a true 
well, in my opinion, from my deck right here, is probably the true boss master of the deck. You make this guy, he cannot be targeted, like, especially if you use a level 7 or higher. Like, he can't be targeted. This is more of a boss monster effect, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he's only unaffected with another card, but, like, come on now. Um, but yeah, this is more of a boss monster that you really want to get out. Especially, say, Dark Magician, uh, Dark Magician Girl, and Rod. I've literally done this play. I've done the Bonds play, right? And I've kept Rod on the field, right? And I'm pretty sure I had Salvation as well. So I had a Salvation and Eternal Soul. Don't ask me how. Maybe it was one second and I had it. But I had that set up. So I make I make him and then on their turn I had to be Eternal Soul and then just bring him back again and then I had Dark Burning Attack ready as well. Like it was sick. Like it was actually sick. But then guess what they did? They destroyed my Eternal Soul. <laughs> Just straight my eternal soul and board wipes me. And I was like, bro. And I read it. I was like, it can't be straight by your opponent's card effects. I was like, oh, bro, big cry, bro, big cry. Uh, but any other deck, you know, that didn't have like backer removal at that time. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying like, is it? He just got lucky, bro. You know, what I'm saying you had a backer removal there and then. You know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't even do anything bro, about it. Like, it's like, I try to, you know, I'll board wipe him, but, you know, it, it's too late. You know what I'm saying? What I could have done is not flip to turn or so and just chilled and waited until he did the play first. But, you know, I wanted to make sure I had the board wipe on the field, but yeah, it kind of backfired. This is why this card is. Garbage. This is why damage is garbage because this card is so bad. Why is this? Why has it got that negative effect? It's so trash. Why can't it just blow up Dark Magician stuff? Like, that would have made so much better sense. Like, the person that gets punished should be the Dark Magician, not any of, not all the other cards, bro. Like, that's how I feel about that card. They should redo it. Redo it, Konami, bro. Please, please. Make it just destroy Dark Magician cards. Dark Magician girl can get destroyed. This can get destroyed. My heart get destroyed. Souls get destroyed. This can get destroyed. But any other monster that I have on the field that's not a Dark Magician should not be destroyed. I feel like. But anyway. Celine. Celine goes into Axis Code Talker. Celine. Um, Mm, Celine also could do a play with Dark Magician if you have Circle on the field. Is if you have Dark Magician in the graveyard, right? Because you tribute it to make Artemis. I mean, Artemis, uh, Celine. Uh, you would you would activate our effect to special summon the Dark Magician back to the field, right? And then you, you could banish a card, right? And then you link summon. Dark Magician into a Link Spider, right? Or or, or M Duck, doesn't matter. To get into Access Code Talker. So then you ban it something. Now Access Code Talker has less things to pop to go in for lethal type of thing. You know what I'm saying? It, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And yeah, that is pretty much my deck list. I should I should take the first off and just call it OCG Dark Magician but it's kind of based off of the OCG first place Dark Magician deck without the DPE package without the Mud Mud Dragon yeah Super Poly and all this other stuff uh, check out Loza Loza's um, videos I'm, he was the one that showcased this guy I was, I was kind of like impressed by it that he was just using Dark Magician so I just wanted to have a go with it and honestly I actually like it bro I'm not even gonna gas you bro I actually like it 
And not at any point did I feel like when Domination got banished, did I feel like, well, I'm going to lose now. I didn't feel like that because I have other plays. I can go into Anaconda. I can go into uh, the Fusion Destiny. I can, I can board wipe. I can banish, non-target. I can still skill drain and beat down with Dark Magician Girl and Apprentice. Like, you know, a boost boosting a uh, Dark Magician Girl to attack other things. Also, I don't know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, it still can do other things. It doesn't even need Dark Magician. If you, it doesn't really need, you don't need Dark Magician to get into this. You can use any other level 7 or higher, you know. You don't need to Dark Magician to get into Selene. You don't need any Dark Magician to get into any of these cards. From Dark Magician all the way to Axis Go Talker. Only these two cards, I should have said, only these two cards is the ones that you need Dark Magician specifically to make. Other than that, no. You do not need Dark Magician. Dark Magician is a bad card. <laughs> that was it. The circle's bad. This is bad. All of it is bad. And we're still beating you guys. I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, get red, Eldritch Prey. Get red, Sky, uh, Sky Strikers. Uh, but um, yeah, man. This is my debt profile. Did I even talk about... I don't even talk about the hand traps. Caught by the Grave is needed. In my opinion, like at least that one. You sh probably should have two. Because Ash Blossom is everywhere Axie is everywhere you know this is not just for hand traps you could you could caught by the grave and eldritch you know like banish that fool you know park so yeah this is my deck profile on the way to plat one with this bro like honestly i'm climbing like i'm literally clapping cheeks you don't even know clapping cheeks bam 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 you still have to have a big brain for this deck don't don't just think that you can just get dark magician and just because it's not top tier it's, it's really simple it's not actually not that simple like it is it's kind of like i want to go to a tekken reference but it's kind of like playing kazuya where you just have to play perfectly to win that's Basically, how I, how I, uh, yeah, how I think about Dark Magician. You have to know it literally everything about your deck, all the little tips and tricks, like with Upstart Goblin with the circle, Upstart Goblin with the literally every little thing to get the maximum output of your Dark Magician. That's literally what you need to do to make your deck better. If you can't do that, you're gonna get clapped. It's, it's as simple as that. You can't do that, you get you get clapped. You know, and especially if you're running three circle, three navigation, three tunnel soul, and three dark magician, on my days you're gonna get clapped. Like, <laughs> so anyway, that is my video. Um, I'll be posting some more of Master Blue for sure, and I will be posting GBO stuff, guys. Uh, don't don't uh don't give up on me now. <laughs> but anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. God bless.